Peru example 14, it's a very important example, in fact, and it's somehow tricky. Okay? So let's do it. So this is the last example that I'm going to solve in this video, like in this uh, solving session. Here I, did, I have, in this example, guys, I have to determine the angular acceleration of link AB if link CD has the angular velocity and the angular deceleration. So, so now here, Noor, alpha is in the negative K. However, omega is in the positive K. Why? Because IJ, if you apply the right-hand rule, IJK will give you a positive K towards you or towards me. While alpha CD, which is a clockwise acceleration, will give you a K towards the screen. Omega CD counterclockwise will give you a, a rotation towards me, which means in the same direction of k. And this means, guys, alpha will be in negative k, while omega here will be in the positive k. So this is a decelerated motion. OK? The question is to determine the angular acceleration of link a, b. And of course, I'm going to start from here, because I know alpha and omega. All right? So guys, since d is fixed, what are the fixed points here? d and a, in fact. So since d is fixed, then VC will be perpendicular to CD, and since omega CD is in this direction, then VC will be in this direction. This is VC. While AC tangential will be perpendicular to CD. This is AC, but tangential, guys, in the direction of alpha CD. And AC normal will be towards the center of rotation, which is D here. So this will be AC normal. Now, can I find AC tangential and AC normal? Of course, you can find them either in a scalar form or in a vector form. In a scalar form, I know that ACT is equal to alpha times R, so it's 4 times 0 0.9 since CD is 0 0.9. So 4 times 0 0.9 is 3.6. So this is 3.6I. This is ACT. And AC normal is equal to omega squared times R, 4 times 0 0.9 also is 3.6, but it is now in the negative J. All right, guys, you can apply the equation of the vector equation of acceleration. You can say that AC in the vector form is equal to alpha cross R. D, uh, RC with respect to D, since D is the center of rotation, minus omega squared RC with respect to D. So you're going to have the same answer, guys, all right? So that will be AC. It's equal to alpha is in the negative K, so minus 4 times K cross RC with respect to D, which is DC, so it's in the positive J, 0.9J. Minus omega squared, which is also 4 times 0 0.9j. All right? So this means, guys, that minus 4 times 0 0.9 is equal to what? It's equal to uh, uh, 3.6. And k cross j is minus i with a minus sign, so it will be, it will be plus 3.6i. And then this one, this is not a cross product, as I said. It's in the direction of j, negative j, so it's minus 3.6j. So, guys, you can see that you're going to have the same answer, all right? So, I already found these two components. ACT is in the positive I, ACN is in the negative j, all right? So, I know AC. Now, what about B? I know that A is also fixed, but I don't know the angular velocity and the angular acceleration of B, A, B. But what I can see, guys, that if this is a, a counter, if this is counterclockwise, then of course V, B will be to the left, all right? And it should be perpendicular to A, B since A is fixed. So this will be V, B. But I cannot find for now the uh, uh, the uh, velocity of B and the acceleration of B. What about the acceleration of B? 
the acceleration of P will be in the horizontal direction for the tangential di uh, acceleration, and the normal acceleration should be downward towards A. So this is A normal B, and this is A C B. All right, guys? Now, how can I find them? How can I find A B, for example? I have to relate A B to A C. So yes, I have to use beam C B. However, guys, if I use beam C B, I know that a vector equation could only solve for two unknowns. However, for the beam C B, I don't know omega, I don't know alpha, and I don't know the two components of B. So what should I do, guys? I, I have four announce here. Use IC. Yes, perfect. Dude. Let's use IC. Okay, so let's draw uh, the lines that are perpendicular to my And this is the second line. What does this mean, guys? VB and VC are parallel. If I draw the, the, the perpendicular lines, there is no intersection between these two lines. That BC has what? IC of BC is located where, guys? Is at infinity, which means omega BC is equal to zero. Right, guys? So omega BC is equal to zero, and this means that at this instant, BC undergoes a transition. At this instant, guys, only. And this means, so let's write it down. At this instant, VC has a zero angular velocity. It doesn't mean that it has a zero alpha, right, guys? So it doesn't mean that it has a zero alpha. So I'm going to write it. This doesn't mean that it has zero angular velocity, but it also means that at this instant, this instant, V, uh, at this instant, the beam BC undergoes a translation which means VB, and I'm going to use it, guys. VB is equal to VC. And I know that VC is equal to what? It's equal to 2 times 0 0.9. So it's equal to 2 times 0 0.9, in fact, is what? Omega CT times 2 0 0.9. So 2 times 0 0.9 is 1.8, which means VB is equal to VC is equal to 1.8. From the velocity of V, I can find the normal acceleration at B. The normal acceleration at B is equal to V squared over R, and I know that R is equal to 0 0.3, and this means that it's equal to 10.6, and then this means, guys, that A normal of B in vector form is equal to minus 10.6 J. All right? So now, guys, I know A normal B. I can now apply the equation for uh, the relative motion between B and C to find A B tangential. Okay? So, A B tangential.
a b in vector form will now be equal to a c minus omega sorry minus uh, plus alpha cross r b with respect to c minus zero since omega is zero and a b is only a tangential b i could be positive or negative if this is decelerated or accelerated minus 10.6 j is equal to ac and what is ac ac is known i found ac it's minus 3.6 j plus 3.6 i so 3.6 i minus 3.6 j this is a c plus alpha now alpha here is not known so i'm gonna assume that it is in the positive k cross rb with respect to c rb with respect to c is cb okay so cb has a negative i and negative j minus 0.6 i minus 0.6 j All right so now guys i have one vector equation with two unknowns which means i can solve it because as i as you know guys as you know if i have a vector equation i can divide this factor into a scalar a two scalar equations i and j all right which means i can find at from here and i can find alpha bc i don't need alpha bc i only need atb whenever i know atb so if you do it you can find that at tangential a tangential at b is equal to also 10.8 positive i so this is 10.8 in the positive i and this is minus 10.8 in the negative j so guys whenever i know atb can i find uh, uh, the answer of this question which is alpha of a b yes because in fact alpha of a b is equal to a t b over the radius which is 0 0.3 okay so it's 10.8 over 0 0.3 or you can also do it in vector form if you want if you want to find what is the direction of alpha, you can do it in a vector form. So AB, which is A normal ATB, is equal to alpha K cross 0.3J minus omega squared 0.3J. And then you can find here from this equation alpha and omega. But the question is only to find alpha. So since ATB is positive I, then alpha will be, of course, in this direction. So you can find the magnitude of alpha from this scalar equation, and then you can put it here on this figure. Any question? Any question, guys? <laughs> 